Alrighty, welcome back. This is Aussie Gamer 17. This is my real walkthrough for Red Dead Redemption 2. On this episode, we are going to visit nine graves. I'm going to show you where they all are. It's part of getting 100% completion for the game. And it's uh, John Marston visiting the nine graves of our friends that have passed away during the story part of the game. Okay, so I'm not going to bore you guys with a... Uh, you know, watching me travel it to each one. What I'll do is I'll show you on the map where we're going. So for grave number one, look for the word Hanover. Just here, the big word Hanover on the map. Look to the left or to the west of the letter E. And it's going to be up on a hill up on the other side of this. Uh, this is a railway track. It's going to be up here somewhere. So I'll put the waypoint there. And we'll start heading that way, and I'll join the video again when we get a little bit closer. Okay. Okay. If you start in Van Horn and you follow the red line on the, your mini-map towards the spot that we marked on the map, I'll just show you where we are now. You're going to come across, along this road here, and we're going to work our way up there to get grave number one. So you'll see there's a railway line here. Just head off to our left a little bit so that we can make our way up. Oh, don't run into trees like I did. And work your way up here to where it all overlooks everything. Up off the horse. And approach the gravesite. And then you'll hold Y to inspect. There we go. This is the grave of Susan Grimshaw. When the game gives me control back, we should be able to see it. Let's uh, do this. There you go. You can just barely see her name written on there. And it looks like a necklace on there as well. All right. Now, heading to the map, and we'll find gravesite number two. Head up and find the big word Amberino. And find the eye, and then look down under the eye. And you've got this sort of, uh, what would you call it? Some sort of building or structure right here. That's where we, what we need to find, and that's an easy reference point to find the grave from there, okay? So I'll start traveling there, and I'll join you guys when we get a little bit closer. Okay, here we are, approaching grave number two. I'll show you on the map. All right, we're about to get to this little uh, building here. And what you want to look for is, uh, I guess, what I would call Hobbit House or a Hobbit House. Head into here. And we'll quickly uh, have a look, quick look at it before we get, the, get to the grave. Okay, here it is. So you can in inspect this site. This is a um, point of interest in the game. John will mark it down in his diary. All right. And then what you want to do is head up the hill behind it. You can make this on foot. It looks like... Oh, you can make it. <laughs> Hang on. going to pick the right angle here. Here we are. All right. Head up here. up again and this my friends is uh, I want to say the saddest grave site here it is g'day old mate Arthur Morgan blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness Arthur Morgan yeah, all right. All right, we paused enough there. Let's head back. Okay, opening up the map. All right, grave site number three. You just want to find just to the west of where we are now, where it says Donna Falls here. Somewhere about there, we're going to find grave site number three. So I'll head over there and I'll join you guys again when we get a bit closer. All right, and here we are approaching grave site number three. I'll just show you once again. Here we go. 
just it's really under the D on the word Donna Falls. I'll, I'll uh, zoom out just so that everyone knows where we are. Alrighty. And what you want to look for is some sort of stick uh, sticking out of the ground down here. I can see it already. We'll jump off the horse. And here we have Eagle, for Eagle Flies gravesite. Alright. Alright, so number three done. Let's open up the map and we'll mark out number four. Zoom all the way out, head up to the far northwest. You'll find this area here next to Spider Gorge and see a little uh, set of buildings here, some sort of little town. You might recognize it when we get there, but that's where we're headed, somewhere about there. So we'll put the waypoint there and we'll start heading that way and I'll join you guys when we get there. All right, so here we are approaching gravesite. Oh, what are you doing there, John? Gravesite number four. This is the town of Colter. It was our first little hideout in the very first chapter of the game. As Arthur, obviously. Now, head into town. You'll see this old uh, run-down church or burnt down, I don't know, ruined church here. And off to the other side of it is a graveyard. Let's hop off our horse. Show you exactly on the map where we are in Coulter, right here, the northern side of town. And this gravestone or gravesite at the back here is Davy. He's someone that died right at the start of the game, sort of before the game, really. We didn't see it or meet him or anything, I don't think. Anyway, there it is. All right, I'll just get back on my horse and we'll open up the map. And what we're going to do is now head up to gravesite number five. Just put the marker sort of right on top of the E in the word gorge here. I'll show you where we are. All right, I'll uh, join you guys again when we get a little bit closer. All right, here we are approaching number five. It's a bit hard to see in all this fog. But once we get through these trees, should see it off to the right up here. Let me, oh, there it is. All right, let me just show you on the map where we are. All right, pretty close to where we had the marker. That's number five. And all you want to do from number five, which was just here, is just work your way all the way up next to this little river here. And we'll find number five. And you just look out for this little cross. Can be hard to spot sometimes. All right, Inspect Grave, Jenny Kirk. Okay, number five is done. Okay, now the next few are kind of uh, spread out all over the world map. Let's open up the map. Now we're gonna have to work our way all the way down near Rhodes. And if you find Rhodes here, head sort of northwest and you'll see Pleasant Point and this little track that leads up here and a building there just sort of off to the west of the building We're going to put the marker just so that we can find our way to the right part of the world All right, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably make my way down to Valentine and Fast travel from there to Rhodes and then head up to this location here And I'll meet you guys when we get a little bit closer all right, so here we are approaching number six, I think we're up to. Uh, I'll show you on the map. Come down this trail. I guess you could even cut across there if you wanted to. All right, there's an old, that uh, structure on the map is like an old ruined building. Uh, but what you want to do is head up to this bushy area up on this uh, hill. I don't know what my horse just freaked out about. Hang on. Over here, yeah, I see it, is gravesite number six. Let's go inspect it. Sean Maguire. Jeez, that was a shocking moment when he uh, got shot. Whew. All right, let's open up the map and we'll head to number seven. Okay, so 
Still in the roads area, this time down to the southeast of the map. I usually use this rabbit picture, but if you don't have that, it's just a, a, as a reference point. But if you don't have it, just uh, find Bolga Glade. Um, and it's just going to be across the road from there, down about here, underneath that rabbit picture. All right, we'll start heading that way and I'll join you guys again when we get there. Okay, here we are approaching number seven. Once again, show you the map. All right, now we just need to head out into this field and look for a uh, gravestone, basically in the middle of nowhere. There it is already, we can see it. Let's hop off the horse and find out who this one is. Kieran Duffy. O'Driscoll. <laughs> oh, the poor fella. There we go. Two to go, guys. And the next two are right next to each other. So we'll open up the map. And we'll just zoom out a little bit. Up north of Saint-Denis. Find the uh, part here where it says NWA, north of Saint-Denis. And then up to this, if you just find this little uh, sort of crossroads here. Find that and we'll head there and we'll be able to find uh, number eight and nine from that point there. And I'll meet you guys when we get to that crossroads. Okay, here we are at that crossroads. Let's see the map. Just here to the east of La Grasse Swamp area and north of Saint Denis. All right, from this crossroads, just look over to your right or to the uh, east, sorry, towards the big tree. Head over towards that. Sorry, mate, doing a walkthrough, can't help. Oh, and we'll just hop off our horse. And we've got our remaining two graves right here. All right, ah, poor Lenny. And here we go, number nine, when we get control again. Poor old mate, Hosea. There we go. Oh, love that noise. Rare achievement. Found the graves of each of our companions. 0.99% of people have done that. All right. And now I hope you guys can add your names to that list. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Uh, and this guide, I hope it's helped, guys. I want to thank you all very, very much for watching. If it's helped, if you're enjoying the series, please remember to give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, post a comment, all that good stuff, and I will catch you all next time.